Majority of our group arrived and we have decided on snorkeling. However, at least half of the group were leery about entering the ocean with sharks and stingrays. It didn't help that we had to pass the seven plus mile Playa Miramar in the Santiago Peninsula. You must enter through Club Santiago, which is a private gated residential community. Tourists and locals are welcome to use the beach. There are no shortages of restaurants. They come to you. Are the restaurants worth a look? Well, if you like a large catch of the day, fresh huge lobsters, and overly generous tequila shots, you have found your spot. May I recommend Ramada El Rey? You can literally organize water sports and tours while you wait for your meal. Hey, what? Never mind. El Rey serves foods like freshly caught fish. See the generous tequila shots? I went with the pescado a la parilla. The large portions are begging for a takeout box. My goodness. Now, if you're feeling amorous, you also have the option of being serenaded at your table by musicians. I spotted an accordion, guitar, and yes, a tuba at the same time. This is also a wonderful place to ride a horse on the beach and try various water sports. My favorite one happens to be jet skiing. But let's get back to the snorkel tour. Hola. Hola. <laughs> this is Francisco. He's been taking us all around, showing us Manzanillo. We are looking good. We only lost two of our entourage who opted to go to the beach instead of snorkeling. And off we go. Wait, where are the cups? Oh man, we forgot the cups. Um, can we turn around? I just know that's not a stingray. Oh, I'm gonna have a hard time getting Eric in the water. After Steve Irwin, he doesn't take chances with stingrays. Wow, miracles do happen. Oh, Cassie came out! Cassie was the only person I thought would not get in the water. You can see the gold in the water. She had a traumatic water experience, so I'm just happy that she is riding with us on the boat. She is the only person that I will give a pass to. We now have cups. Time to enjoy the deep blue. It's shadier than these mangroves talking about our city's water. But it is obvious we are no longer in Rochester anymore. It is so refreshing to see my sis Gina enjoying the calm breezes. Well, it seems like everyone is enjoying themselves. Once we saw this water grotto, we had to stop the boat to pose and take pictures. While we were taking pictures, the boat was stalled and the waves rocked the boat rapidly, causing my birthday boy to get seasick. Thank God I decided to buy a bag of bread from Walmart this morning. A few of us needed it. It didn't take long for us to get our sea legs back. Kind of. It's King's birthday week. We're gonna celebrate the whole week. We invited Christopher, also known as Good News Photography, Hardwell, on the trip. 
Since he is packing up his camera, that means the posing is done. Time for some snorkeling. But only after this beverage intermission. The beers were free flowing from our tour guide and we brought our own. Are there fish in this water? Better believe it. My son is almost ready to jump in. He is still social distancing. <laughs> well, that didn't last long. He is the first one to jump in the water and didn't drown. So now everyone is questioning out loud if they will be next. Who will be next? Holy COVID and bed rest weight. I have packed on pounds, jeesh. Coming back to Mexico is a healing journey for me. Back in 2010, I got sick over ice cubes. They were made from the tap water, which is not friendly to foreigners' digestive systems. Shortly after arriving home, I had to go to the emergency room. Seven days later, I was discharged after I proved that I can walk on my own. It was pretty intense. As I continued to code, the doctors told my family to get everyone together and start making final arrangements. I was not ready to die. So whenever I travel, I ask for no ice and only drink from sealed water bottles. I still have a chronic, painful, and debilitating condition that requires lifelong medical attention. Hi, Hi. Gina. Yes, Queen. Gina jumps next. Miss, I don't know how to swim, but she's gonna learn by the time she leaves this camp today. I knew we would be close to the first ones jumping together. That's my sis, y'all. So who is jumping next, Asante or Swift? Yes, I got it. I'll jump then if you got the swim. Just in case you get too nervous. He put down! Hmm. It's like nobody else is going to get in the water. I figured that if I'm going to be in pain, I might as well earn it. I am going to have fun. Yeah, Sassy, you got this. You got it, Sassy. No, Sassy. Let's go, go, jump. Let's go, let's go. Boom, you got it. There you go. Yes, you are. Let go, let go, let go. So by my estimation, Eric was sick, so he won't come in. Cassie has a pass, so what's up with Sandra and Chris? Yeah, who got next? We lost a couple, but we are still going to have them. Estamos aquí en México. Gracias a Michelle, que vamos a celebrar el cumpleaños de mi hermano Eric aquí en México, Manzanillo, México. Con mucha tequila. Yeah, water here with Eddie. This is pure water from the ocean, salt water. No green. So we thought we can convince Chris to jump in the water because the water was clear. Did it work? Nope.
Wait a minute, is that Cassie? Well, is he coming in or no? Here we go again. Is that happy birthday? Happy birthday, Grandma! Two years of running! Two years of running! Two years of running! Two Chris did it and now he's just showing off. So Sandra was the only one who didn't make it in the water. I say that this was a successful trip. Mission accomplished. Before slipping back to the boat dock, we decided to make a pit stop in La Boquita Beach. As we were on a tight schedule, we decided to come back another day. The food looked and smelled delicious as we walked around. Our main goal now is to get back to our villas and start getting settled. We have to start preparing for my husband Eric's 80s themed birthday party. As we head back to La Punta, I couldn't help but to think about my healing journey and was honored to be there to witness another healing journey. I am so proud of Cassie for pushing herself through her fear and getting back at that water. She may have thought it wasn't enough, but to me, it was everything. It is the spark that gives you the will to conquer your fears. And for that, I celebrate her. Cassie for MVP.